great controversy surrounds the simplest transition, the halt to walk transition. Hey, a student once gave me great grief for writing six pages on the halt. So nothing is as simple as it seems. In this case, we're concerned about the sequence of the horse's legs moving in from the halt to the walk. Now all the books and conventional wisdom say the horse moves left hind, left front, right hind, right front, starting the walk in back. But this is not true. The horse actually starts from halt to walk with the front leg. So the sequence of walk might be left front, right hind, right front, and then left hind. Why do horses move this way and not back to front as we've long been taught? A horse shifts his weight in order to push off better. So he lifts a front leg to lighten in front and loads the diagonal hind leg so he can press harder with it and thrust off into the walk. If you look at the diagram of the horse who is not halted square, whose right hind is back, he will start the walk with his left front, and then his right hind will immediately follow. He does this to get his hind leg under him for better balance. And this is why a square halt is so important. A halt with a hind leg trailing will not only impact the halt to walk transition, it can make a halt to trot transition shuffle as the horse rearranges his legs, and in a halt to canter transition, if he's not square, he might pick up a wrong lead or canter late as he arranges himself. But even with a perfectly square halt, a horse will begin the walk, the halt to walk sequence with his front leg first. Why does this matter? I think it's important to look at the sequence of the walk in two different ways. It's like the picture of the ladies' faces, if looked at one way, that are a face, if looked at another way. If we look at the walk conventionally, we have the left hind, left front, right hind, right front, and this is a lateral gait. You can see in the diagram that it's like swinging the legs on one side first, then swinging the legs on the other side, and that's how we conventionally see the walk. Let's look at the diagram of the walk as a diagonal gait the horse beginning with a front leg first, followed by the hind leg. Remember that the walk should always have the same rhythm. No lag time between the legs, no legs pushing down longer than the other. So it does no harm to look at the walk as a diagonal gait if the rhythm doesn't change or the sequence of legs doesn't change. So if the horse is walking with the front foot first and its diagonal partner second, it's a short step to the half steps of Piaf. We can see how the old masters would diagonalize the walk to turn it into a very short trot. So it's not so far from walk to trot as we might think. Knowing the horse will move a front leg first in the halt to walk transition can save you many hours of frustration trying to get him to move a hind leg first. Just remember he should move the hind leg you're asking for next. For more information on collection and the purity of the gates, see my multimedia dressage series, The Theory of Collection, available on my website at www.kathyjohnsondressage.com. Thanks for watching.